All right, get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Are you in your comfort zone where everything's safe and nice and pleasant and dull and boring and nothing's really happening in your life? Well, you have to get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Uncomfortable in the sense that you push yourself. You push yourself to try a new hobby, to meet someone new, to join a new group, to go for a promotion, to try a new career, to push yourself, to start a new exercise routine. You have to get uncomfortable in order to grow, in order to pursue what it is that you want to do in life. I've just read a great book called The Mindful Athlete by George Mumford, who was Michael Jordan's mental coach. He also coached Kobe Bryant at the Lakers. And he says in this book, if you get too comfortable in life, you don't grow. But if you want to pursue excellence and high performance, then you have to be willing to get uncomfortable. Love it or not, to learn you've got to take risks and stretch yourself. You've got to romance the unknown. You've got to romance the unknown. I love that phrase. Let me give you an example when I got uncomfortable just the other day. So uh, I haven't been to my gym, the Equinox gym on Sunset Boulevard for about two months now. And because it's like two miles extra down the road than where I usually go to the gym here at the Crunch Gym on Sunset Boulevard. So I don't want to spend those extra seven or eight minutes going to the gym when there's a closer one right here. But on Saturday, I was like, you know what? I've got to get uncomfortable to put myself into a new environment, to meet new people, to just see what happens in a new social environment. So I went the extra seven minutes. It was only seven minutes, but I pushed myself and I went there. And when I walked in, I started working out uh, at the bench and I looked up and who was looking down at me but The Rock, the Hollywood movie star The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, who was working out there. And he gave me a kind of look because I accidentally stole his bench. I'm like doing this thing and I looked up at him and I was like, is this yours? And he's like, yeah. I was like, well, what am I? I'm not going to mess with The Rock. So I gave him back his bench. So all of a sudden now I've got this great story about how I met the Hollywood movie star The Rock. I pushed myself into my discomfort zone and all of a sudden this amazing thing happened. Then I ran into another friend of mine, Whitney, who I haven't seen in a year. And I got talking to her and she said, oh, I'm going to do cryotherapy after this. And cryotherapy is when you stand in the cold and like for like two minutes. Um, and it's really great for inflammation in your body. It like makes you like feel so much better. It gets rid of aches and pains. I've always wanted to do it, but I just haven't pushed myself to do it. And she says, come with me. So we go afterwards. I put it on my Instagram. Here's a photo of, uh, of me and Whitney. Uh, just before we, we jumped into the cold with cryotherapy and I experienced this amazing new thing. You can check that, on, check that out on my Instagram, at James Swanick. So I pushed myself out of my comfort zone, okay? I moved into discomfort and when I moved into discomfort, I got comfortable with new stories, new environments. I met the rock for goodness sake. I ran into an old friend. After we did the cryotherapy, we then went and had lunch and then we created this idea to do a mastermind group. I'm gonna be hosting 10 people in my apartment on Thursday night to do a mastermind group where we're gonna talk about love, health, wealth and happiness. And it all came because I pushed myself past my comfort zone. So get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Go and meet someone new. Push yourself to go out a little bit more. Push yourself to eat better. Push yourself to exercise more. Get out of that comfort zone. Because when you get out of that comfort zone and into the discomfort zone, that is where the real breakthroughs come. That is where you live the life that you've always wanted to live. So romance the unknown, push yourself, and get comfortable feeling uncomfortable.